Okay, starting on part two here. A little bit of change of plans here. Um, I am going to have to take these drawers out. i um, got a big computer desk that I might be getting from my dad. In order for it to, have to fit in here um, and have room for the stereo system and the turntable, I'm going to have to take that out because it's almost as long as this section here. Either that or I could put it over here, but then I'll have to move that out. If I put the records over here, then I'll have to move this out of the way too. So, so I'm gonna start ripping that out. Okay, looks like I lost the ears out of this box. They mm -hmm. fell in, down on the wall, so I'm gonna I'm gonna change the whole box out. I got extra boxes. So. Okay, just more work added to the job. Yeah, I'm gonna have to notch this hole out a little more in order for that new box to fit in there. So I do this without cutting the wires. Okay, I ran into a bit of a snag with this new work, new old work box with this type for shallow walls. It has this extension on the end. Um, there wasn't enough slack in the old wire for it to give it enough room to twist into there and, and lay flat. There wasn't enough slack in the wire, so uh, what I ended up having to do is uh, take the old box and st steal the ears out of this and put it in the old box and reuse the old box and because I already cut this out it was the hole was too big so I got this found this piece of steel and just screwed that in there and it's gonna stick out from the plate but uh, um, we can find ways to cover that up um, I'm probably gonna do something with this wall eventually but uh I don't know. Um, it'll work. Okay, I ended up having to re reinforce this one too. I had another one of them st steel bar things because when I cut the hole, this the grain just tore up at the bottom here and it made it weak and it wouldn't grip. So 
All, st all stuff is just cheap quarter inch plywood paneling. You know, it's it's an old mobile home. That's what they. That's how they're made. These. That's how they made them back in the seventies, anyways. So, uh, but it's solid. It's just you know the paneling itself is gonna move, but every outlet in here is like that. So we'll wire this one up. Okay, it's installed. Let's go turn the juice on and see if anything goes poof. Okay. It works. All right. I pull a plug, put the cover back on her, around here. Okay, we got that outlet in. I ended up having to put another reinforcement at the top of that box because it was sliding around. The paneling is so thin that it wouldn't snug down on it. But that'll be covered up with the when I do the sheet rock treatment, um, sheet rock compound, compound treatment. And what I did here is I took that piece of paneling that was on this side and tacked it over here to make that wall flush because there wasn't anything there except for the back part of the sheet rock from the furnace area. So. I just tacked that back on there. And it looks crappy, but it'll be all covered up too. So I'm gonna get this tool the tools clean up, clean up this mess, and I'm gonna call it a night. It's already almost one o'clock in the morning. I still got laundry to do and I gotta work tomorrow, so that'll do it for part two. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.